Hey Siri, is it gonna rain this morning? No, I don't think it's raining right now. Well, I mean, unless there's someone sitting on top of my house throwing water off. Bitch, you line. Just look how perfect and clean that gold chain is looking. And I want the chain to stay that way. I was editing yesterday's video this morning and uh, and I just couldn't help but think I sounded so miserable. There seemed to be a lack of energy in yesterday's video. So good morning, welcome back to the vlog. So we're back today after yesterday's rest day with a little bit more energy. You are a function of this total galaxy. The real deep down you is... Today's my final real proper training session before this weekend's racing. I'm only doing a fairly short ride today. It's only going to be about two hours in length. But within that two hours, I've got scheduled four 10 minute efforts. I'm going to head over to a local climb called the Ashes Beacon. It's around nine minutes, but it flattens off at the top. And so I can get that last minute in. It's the only climb within about a 30 minute radius that's around 10 minutes long. If I want to do anything more, I've got to head north into the Ribble Valley. But that's going to be at least an hour, an hour and a half each way. And uh, yeah, i got to keep it down to two hours today. That's three, that's three out of four intervals done. I've got one more to go. <laughs> And I can't breathe. I'm gonna put the camera away and take it back out when I've finished. I finished my final interval around 15 minutes ago now. I'm uh, just back to a level where I can talk normally. It was frustrating because I had three really good efforts or really good intervals. And then the final one, normally I can always finish really well and get everything out in that last one. But today I genuinely had nothing left in the legs. So what I was doing today doesn't sound particularly hard i don't think there were 10 minutes starting at zone three and then uh basically like progressive efforts up to vo2 finishing with a sprint and even by the final effort riding at the tempo at the start felt felt hard like my numbers were, my, like my numbers were dropping down oh dear this looks a little bit sketchy this looks a little okay very sketchy very sketchy made it anyway as i was saying I guess it like shows that I did what I could today. In terms of power, in terms of numbers, I couldn't have done anything more. I'm just coming up to two hours now. I've done one hour 55. I decided not to go the direct way home. I'm riding through the lanes a little bit just because I don't want the train track. I don't want to go home yet. The weather's good today. It's dry. Like it's the first decent dry day where I don't need to wear gloves in a very, very long time. I just feel like I want to make the most of it. I can even see a shadow of me riding. That means the sun's out right behind me how good's this i'm hoping now that all this baltic weather you know the beast whatever it's called the beast from the east fingers crossed that's it now and spring's on its way this is the current situation how wrong was i zwift anyone all right i think that will do i'm coming up to two and a quarter hours on my wahoo i think that's enough considering i was scheduled two hours to do today this way i've allowed myself to have a decent cool down and just spin the legs out because i can i can feel it in the old boys i can feel it so whilst i've been away i've had one pair of break 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 blocks and they lasted me seven weeks and i came home and they'd hardly looked like they'd been used i've been home now for about a week and a half and there is pretty much nothing left of them it just shows how much they wear down when you're riding in, in in the rain in bad weather but very quickly for the new viewers that jumped on board whilst i was away on training camp this is my 2018 race bike it's a conlago c60 frame set we have a campag chorus group set with a physique finishing kit and currently i've got some uh some campag training wheels on these are these are skiroco skiroco Scirocco. Campag Scirocco wheels. We haven't yet got our race wheels. I'm running a gold KMC chain because why not? Some PowerTap P1 pedals that were uh, kindly supplied to me by PowerTap. Very quickly, by the way, they emailed me yesterday saying, can I let the viewers know that the price has now dropped even more on the PowerTap P1 pedals. So if anyone wants some PowerTap pedals, Check out the link in the description. I think PowerTap sent me these pedals four or five months ago now, and so far I've not had a single problem with them. And then finally, up front, obviously, we've got the uh, the Wahoo Element Bolt. In summary, that's my 2018 race bike. I'm sure you'll agree it's a pretty sick piece of kit. Oh dear. I'm about to run out of my recovery drink. All right, when I arrived home from training today, I had a parcel waiting for me. It's arrived from Cornwall, so I've got a pretty good idea what's inside here. So far this season, I've been riding around in the 2017 St. Piran team kit. As we hadn't yet taken delivery of any 2018 kit. Our kit, as you know, is supplied by 
uh, is supplied by Castelli. And this is just some of our kit. We've got so much kit from them, but this is the first initial drop. We've got a couple of arm warmers here, and I've got to say, I am very excited for this kit. The 2018 kit is, is slightly different to the 2017 edition. We've still got this Cornish tartan, but we've also got the St. Piran logo on the side. And also the St. Piran text is slightly bigger. Also the bib shorts. Again, it's got the tartan on one of the legs. How sick are these hats? It's got St. Piran on it. I really do like this little design feature. On the inside of the wind vest, it's got, again, the Cornish tartan. I feel very privileged and lucky to have a brand such as Castelli supporting the team and supplying our team kit. Like it's a well-known fact, Castelli is arguably one of the best, one of the best cycling clothing manuf manufacturers in the industry. So to know when we're racing and we've got some of the best kit available is really, really cool. I'm already looking forward to going out training tomorrow in our brand new team kit. All right, I had to try it on. I couldn't wait till tomorrow. But uh, let me know what you think of it down in the comments down below. I really like the simplicity of it. We got the little St. Theron logo there on the side. I reckon when we're in the bunch racing as a team, we're gonna look so cool. But guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow at 5 p.m.